can count Pennsylvania Republican Congressman Mike Kelly very worried as well, although he'll be more circumspect than I will here. But, uh, Congressman, that concerns me because I was not really worried about this Ebola thing until everyone told me not to worry about this Ebola thing, until we sent 3,000 troops to Liberia, until we started then repositioning how hazmat suits should be fitted, uh, until we started saying the CDC wasn't doing a good enough job, so we had to have a czar to oversee the CDC. Then I started getting worried. Should I be? Well, I think you need to be very worried. Uh, and again, consistent with this administration, they worry more about the message than the mission. Uh, they worry more about uh, something that's going wrong with, the, uh, with what they're talking about the, uh, than what we should be worried about. It, listen, this is a disease that is absolutely incredibly, incredibly uh, adds to the chance of you not surviving. It liquefies your internal organs. It, Neil, when I hear what they're saying, and when I first heard Dr. Fried, and I was like you, I said, you know what, sounds pretty good. Then I looked into his background. He was with, uh, the, he's the soda pop doc, uh, the, the New York doc that says more, he was more concerned with sugary drinks. So they appoint Mr. Klain, and I'm thinking, well, you know, maybe that's a step in the right direction. Then I find out that he's not really a doctor, he's a spin doctor, and you start to worry then about, well, are we really worried fair, about no, the I message or the mission? I understand where you're coming from, and I, I don't think there are enough medical experts here, if, if Klain in his case has, knows where, you know, how the, the various bodies of government well, and authority it, operate, I mean, uh, George Bush, uh, you know, when he was dealing with SARS, uh, dealt with a similar official. That in and of itself doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that we keep adding layers here. The Pentagon now has these 30 odd officers who are going to yeah. oversee this. Who is overseeing all of this? Now, if it's Mr. Klein, that's one thing, but I suspect that they're all doing things autonomously, much as we did right after Homeland Security was formed, uh, each fiefdom operating independently of the other. Well, that's where leadership comes into. You have to have somebody at the head pulling people together with who a strategy that? that's actually going to work. Well, it's supposed to be the president, and through his, his ability, through his offices, the executive offices, able to direct the country in a way that we have trust and faith and confidence. And I think what we see time after time is that it's a false confidence. We find out it's not a true message, and then it's damage control and not disease control. And I think that's where the American people are losing faith. They're saying it's not what we were told. Why do we have to keep going back? And saying, well, when you, you say not people, what we were told, I understand. When you say not what we were told, not the assurance we were, uh, assurances right. we were originally given, because they will come back and say, well, you've had two cases here in the U.S. Uh, we've got this well under control. It's nothing like it is over there. We're we're focusing on eradicating or helping the Liberians eradicate this over there. So we're actually doing all the right things. You say no. No, we're not, because in 2005 there were directions or regulations that came out of the CDC that talked about changing our quarantine laws and looking at about infectious diseases we have not addressed it in 35 years neil now in 2010 well, would you shut and down oddly, flights going out there and flights well, coming of course from there? i mean listen that's common sense i would rather overreact right now i'd rather err on the caution side and then later on say listen blame me for overreacting but i wanted to protect the american people i just think it doesn't make sense you know in April of 2010, the Obama administration scrapped those ideas very secretly about what they wanted to do and how they were going to address these issues that were worldwide. Now we come around to where we are today and said, we knew about this. We knew about this outbreak back in March, and we've been sitting on it, not making decisions that would protect the American people. That's not leadership. That's not taking right. the country in a direction that they have faith and confidence. That's what we're supposed to do. Congressman, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Bye.